What's the deal with cholesterol? Is it actually bad for you? Or is the true issue a caloric surplus? Hi, in case you're new to this channel and don't know who I am, I am Slick Nick, your personal keto bro. And no, no, I am not a doctor. I am not a dietitian, a nutritionist, or even a personal trainer. I am simply a guy who is a few weeks away from my 40th birthday. I've reached my initial goal, which is to get rid of the dad bod, uh, be able to get down to size 31 pants. I have been doing keto for the past three months very strictly. And what I'm finding is ultimately that I am actually going to need to restrict my calories more because there is a such a thing of having too much fat when you're doing keto. I'm learning this, I mean, in real time, and I said from the beginning, if keto stops working or I need to make some changes, I will make those changes to make it more efficient. Just because one part of it doesn't work mean I stop doing it altogether. No, I'm not like the Wally Coyote. He would often try this one thing to catch the Roadrunner and it didn't work and then he'd just try something else. He wouldn't keep trying to perfect what he was doing. Well, I'm open-minded enough to know that here's an idea. It's not quite working is the way I want it to. Why don't I make a few minor changes and let it work better? So I was talking to a friend recently who believes that you can have too much cholesterol, that long-term that it can actually be bad for you and lead to you having a stroke, possibly heart attack, etc. But he did say this. He said, because people who have excess body fat are the people who end up having heart attacks, stroke, cancer, diabetes, etc. To which I said, but that's not me. Even now, I don't have excess body fat. I mean, I'm maybe, what, 20% body fat right now, aiming to get closer to actually truly probably 17. I said 18, but probably 17 is better. Either way, I do not have excess body fat at this point in my life. I did a year ago. I don't now. So we have to make sure we're not conflating the two. And here's what I mean by that. So there's the concept of if you have extra fat on your body, by default, you're in a caloric surplus. You're probably already eating more calories than you need. Well, you actually are. Because if you're eating more calories than you need, you're going to either maintain that body fat or you're going to gain even more. If you were in a caloric deficit, that would allow you to lose the body fat to get where you are. So I do not have excess body fat, but it's people who have excess body fat who are more likely to get stroke, diabetes, cancer, heart attack, all that. So I'm by that alone, I'm not at risk for that. Yet still, is it possible I'm consuming too much fat? Yes. And that's what I'm learning and as I'm doing this experiment, that since doing keto the past three months, I have focused less on calories. And I do believe that it's, when we look at the whole concept of intermittent fasting, that what it ultimately does is it helps you better have a framework for restricting your calories. The concept ultimately behind keto is that you're gonna allow your body to burn fat instead of store fat by fasting. And then when you do eat, you're not eating much carbs, so therefore you're really not storing fat. But either way, what I have learned as my mistake here is I have been a little too liberal or a bit too liberal when it comes to fat intake. So what I'm gonna do is just minimize my calories by not consuming as much fat. I can afford to do that. And ultimately, I'm gonna focus a little bit more on protein to uh, be able to counter that. But there definitely is a difference between cholesterol being bad for you. A, uh, an example of this is you're already overweight and you're already consuming more calories in general that you need, whether it would be fat or protein or carbohydrates, you're already consuming more than you need. That's not me as far as having that access. So with me not being overweight and still consuming more fat than I need, does that mean I'm necessarily at risk for a stroke or diabetes? I don't think so. I mean, I'm almost 40 now. So is it to say I'm more likely to have a stroke in 20 years if I continue to eat this much fat? I would say arguably no, because as long as I do not gain body fat, as long as I maintain where I'm at now, I don't see that being an issue. However, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna learn to be really strict on my calories again to make sure I'm in that desperate, desperate, my desperate deficit, to make sure I'm in that deficit to 
get as lean as I want to be, which like I said, 17% is really, 17% body fat I think is really, is, is going to officially get me in that fitness zone. 18 still kind of on the cusp. 17 is probably true fitness. I want to be at the top of the fitness zone, not at the, at the low end where like, you know, you're shredded. I don't want that. I don't want to make the sacrifices necessary for that. I want to just have my, fi my foot in the door as far as the fitness range and I'll be happy. Now, eventually I'll need to get out of the de caloric deficit and I'll need to add some calories back. So at that time in the future, when that happens, I can choose do I, how do I want to add a little bit more calories back? Do I want to do it with fat or do I want to do it with protein? Can't imagine saying I'd want to do it with carbohydrates because really I just, now that they're out of my life for the most part, I don't miss them. You know, I, I get enough for my Greek yogurt and my sweet potato and I'm really happy with the, with that. I mean, that's less than 50 a day and I'm, I'm happy with that. So I am open-minded. I'm also committed. That's a paradox a lot of people cannot live with, but I, I definitely can. I'm still doing keto, but I'm going to be more open-minded to things like having a little bit more of a cheat day on the weekends, for example, going a little above the 50 grams on those days as it applies. But I've been too liberal on my fat intake for my diet. I recognize that as it relates to calories. I still don't believe that by me eating three eggs a day or having bacon now or having sausage, that that itself is going to make me unhealthy and get a heart attack or a stroke. I don't believe that. Because, and remember, we're living on outdated information, 50 year old false information that cholesterol specifically makes you unhealthy. No, having excess body fat makes you unhealthy. And continuing to live in that surplus, that puts you in an unhealthy state, which makes you more susceptible to those things. But a person who's already healthy, a person who's not living with excess body fat, when I do consume three eggs a day, bacon, sausage, whatever it is, I'm the exception to that. And I think that's what people conflate. They conflate a caloric surplus as, as the same as you're eating a bunch of fat. So therefore you're going to get these bad health problems. There's two different kinds of people. Those who are overweight have excess body fat and those who don't. Diet is going to affect them differently based on what they eat. And that's something that's definitely important. With that being said, yes, I'm going to start restricting my calories and by default, it's fat that I'm going to be quote trimming out of that for that reason to have more fat loss, but not because I think that I'm going to have a stroke or a heart attack. Your comments belong right here.